Hi, my name's John and welcome to Ask John D. Jones. In today's episode, we're going to install the EpiServe sample site, which is called Music Festival. Now, the interesting thing about the Music Festival sample site is that it's worse than using VJS. Now, unless you've been living in a cave, obviously JavaScript has become the world's most used language. React, Vue are pretty much you know, staples. If you go on to the Stack Overflow sort of um, most popular frameworks, year on year, now they're at the top of the list. Now, to install uh, the Music Festival website, you just simply go over to Google and then you can do an Epi Server Music Festival. In here, we'll find the GitHub. Now, the one thing to note is that we'll be installing it using a clone. If you've used uh, Epi Server for a number of years, you might be used to the Visual Studio extension. Um, that's gone. This sample, this sample site is installed completely through Git. So find out a nice place on your website you want to clone the repo to and download it. And while we're waiting for that to download, which shouldn't take too long, we should quickly have a look at the readme which comes with. Obviously you can see we have these prerequisites where you need Visual Studio, uh, local DB, and then we just need to run a few setup scripts. Now if you haven't got npm installed, it's pretty easy, just google how to install npm. Doing it on Windows is very simple, should only take a few minutes. Um, what we should be able to do is npm v, if I can remember. And as you can see we've got version 6. And I've done this recently, so if we do uh, I think it's SQL local db i I think. Then we can also see that we've got the local SQL installed. Now with that all up and running, we should be able to open it in Visual Studio. So if I go to here we go, music festival. Now going back to the install instructions, if we have a look, you'll see that there's next part we need to do is run the setup.bat. So it's Let's run that in the background. So just change into the music festival thing and run setup. There we go. Now while that's running, let's just have a quick look at the project. Um, as you can see here, we've got the solution items. So I always find it's very useful just to actually see what things are doing. Now in here, what you might notice is that we've got a database music festival and you've also got the GeoCities thing. This is a very common way of importing data when you're using EpiServer. So if we did a open file and explore and look in databases, you'll see this file. So if you're having any problems or you want to install music festival in a different version, um, like pop SQL rather than using SQL instance, then you'll be able to use that. So you can see within the build folder, we've got this database in here. You can then basically just use this epi server data stuff to generate a database yourself. Makes life really simple. And let's have a look. Everything's still going through. Slower than I thought it was going to be. So saying that, let's go back to our Ruby notes and have a quick look at what we should think about. Now, when you're doing um, episode with JavaScript, things become a little bit more tricky. Now, historically, when you're using C Sharp with EpiServer, you can use a lot of the EpiServer helpers. You can use things like Property4. And when you use Property4, things like inline editing magically worked. It was very simple to get things like um, page preview within the editor to work. Now, when you're building a site within EpiServer using JavaScript, you have to keep this in mind. And in here you can see that we've got a notable files in the readme and in here they're pointing out some of these files that you should think about. So EpiServer Edit is a um, view directive that you can use to be able to um, figure out if the application is currently in editor mode or preview mode. Again, if um, when you're using uh, view and JavaScript, you'll be um, talking to EpiServer using the content delivery API. So because you're making API requests, you'll need to pass the correct parameters. If you just want to have all the production data, you'll be making one request. 
if you want to be getting uh, all the preview information then you'll need to send is edit mode equals false and if you want people just to be able to you know view stuff as they're in the editor you need to put is uh, the epi server edit mode to true hopefully the website will have loaded now if we go back to our tab as we can see we have music festival boom that's exactly what we want so you can see installing music festival is pretty simple it is just cloning um, running a script now if we try and log into epi server itself if we go back to the music festival readme we can use this guy called uh, cms admin and the password is sparrowhawk which is beautiful so cms admin and sparrowhawk my apologies for uh, my laptop running a little bit slowly it's just one of those things isn't it so as we're now inside the episode editor if we go to the cms tab we should hopefully be able to see the page tree now the reason why i'm loading this is i was just trying to show you how all the inline editing and the page preview works so as you can see we've got a number of ed inline editing where we can see edit with we can see the title and you can see the subtitle and you have some hero properties now when you're building your application you're going to have to think about this now i built a few applications using epi service content delivery api and uh, some of the projects are coming halfway through and stuff like this people haven't considered and my one bit of advice is that if you're planning an epi server project definitely start to think about how the preview and how inline editing worked at the beginning of the project rather than leaving it right at the end because it's just going to cause you a load of hassle so as you can see getting started with epi server and view is fairly simple you can use the sample site and then build off of it the sample site comes with everything you need um, it's very well documented you can see some notable files you can see basically you know what the main things are um, it's the same like any sort of SPA or JavaScript application the main things you're going to be th thinking or worrying about is you know talking back to an API um, with epi server you need to figure out the different modes so you know normal mode edit mode or preview mode um, based on that the content from the API will need to change so you just need to think about that and basically Apart from that, you should be good to go and sort of have a bit of a play around. Well, anyway, I'm hoping this uh, video has been helpful for a few people out there that just slightly dis demystifies, you know, how to get started with Epi Server and View. Now, if you want to be a complete Epi Server legend, I recommend that you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to grow it. Um, obviously, I put all this content out free just for the love of it. So, if you could if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to learn a lot more about epi server um, especially about how to build epi server with an spa then go to my website it's johndjones.com as you can see here um, as you can see i'm publishing uh, a fair amount of tutorials at the moment about how to install epi server with um, content delivery in mind how to talk to apis um, if you're interested in react there's a number of react things over there if you've got any ideas or you're stuck obviously just go to this contact thing um, this video will be hosted within YouTube, so if you've got any comments, please leave any thoughts or messages, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, anyway, that's been it for this video. I hope it's been useful for some people. You're absolute legends for watching this, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.